Good afternoon. We're going to be making bread pudding. We're going to cook it over the fire in our Dutch oven. So the ingredients is three eggs, which I've already put in there. A cup and a half of sugar. Two cups of milk. We have company. We have two dogs. They like to fight and they're probably going to be fighting. Uh, <laughs> one stick of melted butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> they're trying to help me mix it together. Spoon of cinnamon. This is a half, so I'm just going to do it twice. Also, calls for nutmeg, but this old girl forgot to get any at the grocery store, so we're going to eat it without it. So just whisk this all together. I am using Cowboy Kent Robbins uh, recipe or bread pudding. Then you take 10 hamburger buns, regular hamburger buns. I'm only supposed to use five. So you tear them in about one inch pieces. They're helping me. <laughs> So now we're just going to mix this up until I get real wet and mushy. shape so you don't want to push them down and make them extremely wet like we did the first five. You know you will have to mix them up but you don't want them completely soggy. a cream sauce that goes over top of the uh, bread pudding I've already made up and we will use that later. Okay, so I'm just going to get that wet but not soggy. Something like that. Just the last five, it just needs to kind of hold its uh, shape. And the next thing to do is that you're going to cook it for about 55 minutes on 350. 
But we're gonna do it differently because we're gonna use our uh, Dutch oven and cook it on the fire. This bowl that I just mixed all this in is a bowl that my mother gave me. She got it at her uh, bridal shower when her and my father got married. And so again, we're going to cook this about 55 minutes at 350 and we'll see how it turns out. All right, we'll leave our Dutch oven there to do its thing, and we'll come back and check it in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if I can get you down here and let you look at it. It hadn't started to separate from the sides yet, so it still likes a little bit. After checking our bread pudding, we'll rotate the lid one way. Then we'll rotate the oven the opposite direction. That will help ensure that we cook our bread pudding evenly. All right, let's put some more coals on. Just kind of cool that. Show you what I'm talking about. It's starting to pull away from the sides now. See how it's pulling away from the sides there? I believe it's done. Let's go in and have us a taste. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.